welcome back guys today i bring you a tutorial on how to attach your crinoline or hair braid to your peplum now this is a 360 degree peplum now if you want your peplum to be more wavy you don't want to do either a 720 degree peplum or a 1080 or even a 1440 degree, degree peplum to get a fuller and a more wavy effect okay this is just a 360 degree peplum and while i wanted to attach um crinoline to it i decided to do this video to show us now if you looked closely at my fabric, you would see that I have I had already interfaced it with my collar stay or your gum stay. Now to the hem of or to the starting point of your um horse braid or your crinoline, you want to use a bias to tape the edge, okay? So that because the crinoline is um very sharp and pointy, so it doesn't poke you continuously poke you while you're wearing the dress and make you very uncomfortable. So if you see the top of my um the side of my crinoline or my horse hair i piped it with the bias to make to give it a smooth uh, look so you place your um, lining piece on your fabric then place the crinoline or your horse hair on top of the lining okay then you sew with half inch seam allowance all right so the fabric first the lining second the the crinoline or the horse hair braid okay so you sew with half inch seam allowance now the length of the crinoline i'm using is two inches you can get as much as the length of three inches five inches for crinoline okay it comes in different lengths all right so you just keep sewing gradually and making sure you are not pulling or stretching the crinoline just be placing it at the hem of the peplum okay just keep following you know the peplum has a curvy end okay so keep following the curviness of the peplum keep placing the crinoline at the tip okay make sure it's following the curve of the peplum so it's a bit it's not too tricky just just make sure that you are adjusting your lining and your crinoline so that they are all matching and make sure not to pull or stretch the crinoline because the crinoline on its own is actually stretching so by the time you stretch to try stretch it more than its elastic limit it's not going to give you any wavy effect okay so it's the stretchiness that calls in between uh, inside the lining you know, inside the fabric so when it's after sewing and it calls that's what gives you the beautiful weaves so when you stretch it it wouldn't be able to call inside the material or inside the fabric so it wouldn't give you that wavy effect okay so you sew from the beginning to the end point of your peplum okay so i'm gradually getting to the end of the peplum and so the same thing i did so therefore you can see the peplum is already very wavy it's already wavy and i can see the effect the crinoline has on the peplum now when i get to the end i'll just trim it out leaving like um one inch okay you you leave at least one inch because that just like i told you earlier the kindle line is very sharp and pointy it can actually hurt you like if it continuously pokes you so what i also do is to get my bias tape and use it to tape the side of the pep of the crinoline okay because you don't want to get your clients or even you yourself very uncomfortable this uh, crinoline has very sharp edges okay so you want to make sure you use your bias to pipe it okay so that it doesn't hurt you but if you can you know endure the pain if you can make it without piping with the bias you can people do it but i actually advise you use the bias tape to tape the sides of the crinoline so that when you wear your dress or your top you are very comfortable you're not you know irritable because of the itching the scratches all right so just make sure that you pipe it doesn't take 
uh, time okay and you just use a little strap okay more, more than maybe just because this this is uh, a two inch uh crinoline you just be needing two inches of bias tape so it's, it's going to cost you so much to be comfortable or for your client to be comfortable people will be like ah the dress is so lovely but i was not comfortable there's something inside that is poking me more it's just like a needle like when there's needle or pain inside the dress poking you all right so um if you are watching till now thank you thank you for all the support thank you for all the love you've shown me on this channel please if you are yet to subscribe please consider subscribing turn on the notification bell share this video like comment tell me what you want me to do in the next video and to all my subscribers i keep commenting i keep loving and sharing these videos thank you so much Thank you. I really do not take these things for granted. And I want to ask for one more favor. Please try to watch the ads on the videos to help us grow. All right, to help me grow, not just us to help me grow. All right, so now after attaching the bias tip to the end of the crinoline, I'm just going to sew to the end of the fabric. All right, so when I sew to the end of the fabric, I make sure I back stitch. That's to secure my stitches so that it doesn't uh, rip apart. Okay, in the course of um, wearing the dress, you make sure you, you back stitch at the beginning of your stitch and at the end of your stitch. So you can see the crinoline has already given it a wavy effect. So imagine, just imagine if this is a 720 or even a 1080 degree peplum, it's going to be so wavy. Okay, and another turning trip is to make sure that you cut uh, excess of your waist measurement so that you can be able to pleat around it do a box a box split or like a kissing plate okay that's what will give you more waves okay but i really do not want to get more waves so that i don't look bigger than i am already you want to consider the size of the person you're working with so that the person doesn't look like she's wearing this petticoat you know that we are underneath uh wedding gowns now the next thing i want to do is to top stitch now you make sure that you pull out your lining then the horse hair braid or the crinoline is facing towards the direction of the lining then your stitch you know the half inch stitch you use in joining the crinoline to the lining and the fabric you push the stitch towards the lining okay then you stitch on like quarter of an inch okay so you stitch so that's called top stitching just the way you top stitch the neckline of your dresses your tops your blouses you top stitch it round making sure to pull the lining apart okay so that you don't end up doing it twice you can also turn it to the right side so you can see where you're top stitching if you're comfortable doing it my way the way i'm doing it's fine but it's easier to use the front okay so whichever way works for you make sure you top stitch or then another thing you can do is take it to your ironing table and iron but i strongly advise against using too much heat on the crinoline because it's actually plastic it's um yeah rubber it would melt so when it melts it wouldn't give it that wavy effect that you're looking for so top stitching is better so just top stitch it round that everything would overlap you can now take it to the ironing table and just iron it a little just to give it a professional and very clean finishing all right so that is just basically how you attach your crinoline to your peplum if you found this video helpful please like share it subscribe Turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified anytime I upload a new video. So this is the result of the outfit we've made and it's so lovely. So lovely. It's also a result of the previous video I posted. Then I made this sleeve for it. If you want to know how to make this sleeve, please comment and I'll be sure to make the video. And I wore it to a wedding so you can wear it to any event.